Hi, I'm Doug Curtis, owner of the Doug Curtis Golf Learning Center. Today I want to help you out with technique with your chipping. One of the most important shots that you can have to save strokes, especially when you're trying to get up and in in two shots instead of wasting a shot and taking three shots. So we're going to talk about the technique of that and also talk about which clubs to use and which clubs not to use. So one of the important things to know about chipping is which club to use for which situation. So I've got three clubs that I do all of my chipping with. I have my 46 degree pitching wedge, I have my 56 degree sand wedge, and I have my 62 degree lob wedge. So it depends completely on where my ball is, where the flag is, what kind of height I need as to which of the, these three clubs to use. Some people advise using one club to do all your chipping. Some people advise using five or six different clubs because of the different situation. I am going to go kind of in, in between. It's really hard to know what six different clubs are going to do, but you want some versatility. So I think the best option is to find your three best clubs that you do all of your chipping with and get to know what those clubs do. So if I'm really close to the green like this, it's gonna be my pitching wedge a little farther away, my sand wedge a little bit farther from the green yet, it's going to be my lob wedge most of the time. The reason you don't see tour pros hit the shot that we're talking about very often is because most of the green surrounds on courses that they play, the grass is two or three inches thick, deep, which is a completely different shot. Most golf courses that we play, the green surrounds are almost fairway length, so this is the shot to hit. Ball position on this shot is crucial. It needs to be across from your right shin. So if it's vaguely close to that, it's gonna be very easy to hit it fat or thin. So play it off that right shin. From there, feet are going to be very close together, an inch or two between your shoes. And then from there, you're going to do three lefts. The three lefts are turn your toes a little left, lean the shaft left before you grip it. The third left, you wanna lean your chest toward the target or left. What that does is it allows the club to simply move up and then back down by rocking your shoulders and swinging your arms. That's the only thing that should move in this shot. So it should look something like this. Ball position, toes left, shaft left, golfer left, and then mentality, hit it low, hit it forward. It should look like this. Okay, so I didn't use my wrists at all. My weight stayed on my left side and I hit it forward and low and I can make that putt, which is what we want. Knock it within that three feet circle so you can make your first putt. Save your strokes.